Good morning, uh, this is Scott from the Living History School, and um, I'm out here in, in uh, the high desert of Oregon, and um, I spent Thanksgiving here a couple days ago, and yesterday I was out here about 3.30 um, <coughs> with my dog. My dog. Come here, Raka. Uh, she's afraid. She's back over there by that fence. But um, up on this, I was over here just beyond this um, um, little rock, a basalt wall, uh, cliff that kind of runs along the edge. And actually, there's houses off in the distance there um, with, my, with my dog. And she was up there um, jumping around on the rocks looking for um, cottontails. And I was down over over there on the ground, um, practicing um, trying to start a fire. I found some mullein and I found some down juniper from these down juniper trees. So I was down on the ground and <coughs> I heard uh, heard some shots, some uh, rifle shots. And uh, the first shot, the first shot um, I heard was just made me notice that somebody was actually shooting in the area kind of up, up on this ridge. It was about 3.30, and uh, I couldn't really tell because the sun, uh-oh, I see somebody up there this morning. The sun was um, in my eyes, and then um, the next shot hit on the rock right right where I was. Um, and so um, it was kind of far away, so, but it hit on the rock, so it sounded like a ricochet. So, oh my gosh, somebody's, you know, just the ricochet. Sh sh hit over by me. The next thing I know, another shot hits and it was probably within uh, 20 feet of me. So somebody was sh basically shooting at me. And uh, what I did, I, I crouched down and I, I started running. And uh, I kind of ran between these um, these dead trees, um, but just back to the house. It's only like a quarter mile from the house. And uh, another one hit right in front of me. So that, like, it's like a total of four, four shots. And uh, um, it's you know scared the crap out of me. Today, I, so, so today this morning, um, it's almost sunrise. Um, I'm going back out to where I was basically shot at, and um, I'm going to to see if I can find where the, it hit the dirt by me. And then I've thought about going up to the uh, up to that ridge. Of course, I see somebody up there this morning. I mean, there's people. You know, it's it's a somewhat you know it's a populated area. It's not like we're out in the middle of nowhere. And this this fence line over here is the National Forest. So the only thing I can think of is that they were trying to shoot, maybe shoot at my dog and thought it was a coyote or something. And it was some, you know, stupid teen, teenagers. But as I said, I wasn't gonna sit around trying to figure out who was shooting at me. I was just get the hell out of there. And, uh, and on top of that, I couldn't tell where, you know, I could tell the shots were coming from that this ridge up here, but I couldn't tell you know, because of the sun was directly in my eyes. So it looks like just a, a walker up there. I can see him walking, walking down. So we're gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over and see where I can find my 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 stick that I was playing with the uh, fire stick and the bow drill and see if I can find where the shots hit. And then maybe I'll walk up to the ridge and see uh, see where the um, if I can find some casings. But uh, today. Here. Actually, on my it's not in my pocket, but on my side. Um, so to, so today I'm I'm coming uh, prepared. If somebody's going to shoot at me, they're going to have a sh you know a little gun fight because uh, <laughs> generally I don't carry a gun when I'm out bushcrafting. But uh, since I'm going back to the area where where it all happened, uh, I'm I'm armed today, so, and I can see the ridge, so, okay. So I'm coming back up to the area where I was playing with this piece of mullein. So here's my fireboard, or here's my little piece of fireboard here. I was starting on in my my spindle, and here's you can see my tracks. Um, from where I was standing here, so here's the here's the rock wall where 
my dog was running around, which she's doing the same thing, running around up on top of these rocks, and then I'll spin her, spin around. Up oh, there's a shot off in the distance, and people do sh shoot out here, like way, way out. I mean, I just heard one shot there, but this was just right there on this little ridge, maybe, maybe half, uh, less than a half a mile, probably, or not even that. And of course, this, I couldn't see anything because the sun was in my eyes, and there's these rock outcroppings up on there, so. If, you know, some teenagers are up in there. You know, I, I, I couldn't see them at that point during the day. Of course, now it's I could easily see them. So, so I'm gonna. So this is where I was playing around with this tree here. So I'm gonna walk around and see if I can see where, see where the bullet hit. And then I'm gonna walk up to that. Maybe walk up to that ridge and see. Uh, see if I can find the, ca the casings. So, yeah, so the first first shot hit right on that rock, right right on these rocks right up here above my head. And this, on the next shots hit me as I was running down running down this tra trail right here, back towards, the, you know, back towards the house. I'm not too far, maybe, you know, a quarter mile from the house. And uh, and you see my dog running around up over, over here, so. But there's my first track. You can really see that I dug in the ground. I'm, just, I'm wearing these. Rubber, you know, rubber rubber boots was the same thing I was wearing yesterday, and I was dressed here. I'll show you what I was. I was dressed, you know, just like this, what I'm wearing right now. So it wasn't like I was camouflaged or anything. Um, so here's my next step. You can see my tracks pretty easy. And then, um, and there's I think that's where I kind of turn, and I know one hit right off in these right over there by these bushes. So I'm gonna go over there and see if I can see anything. So here we are on the upper part, looking down onto where I was. So, um, I don't know, this might even be too far, but there's this trail that runs, you know, right along here. And there was, there's bike tracks on it, and I did see bikers, but the, the sheriff caught, or came up with the two bikers, and they were just father and son riding their bikes. So, but that was, you know, later, a little bit later once they got here. So, you know, I don't know, it's... You know, I, I imagine with the light hitting the rocks so on the other side, they could probably see see pretty well. Um, uh, you know, right? You know, you can see up on the ridge here with the sun coming up this morning. There's houses up on there, so it's, you know, again, I'm not in the middle of nowhere. So it's just, I guess, a long story short, just uh, be really aware when you're out in the woods or anywhere, you know, that there's people, people, stupid people out there shooting, and uh, and you're out there doing bushcraft, and you know. You know, um, just be cautious. Uh, thanks for joining me on Living History School today. And it's too bad I didn't get to do the rabbit snares. I wanted to do the rabbit snares, but uh, the first uh, day I was here, it was almost like it was pretty snowy and windy and blizzardy um, in the evening. And then, um, of course, yesterday I was going to do it, but I was going to do it late in the day. And of course, that didn't happen. So, but there's still, you know, of course, lots of cottontails out here to, to practice. So, um, I guess that's it. Talk to you later. Bye.